So after filling up on a giant breakfast at the Indian Creek Cafe, I got on Highway 101 and headed north and had to stop when I saw a giant dinosaur. Welcome to Prehistoric Gardens. This is a beautiful rainforest and dinosaur garden that's located just north of Gold Beach. Ernie Nielsen, this was his dream, and this park was completed in 1955, is still family run today. The reason you want to make a stop at Prehistoric Gardens, which is literally almost on Highway 101 um, on the ocean side, is because the foliage the rainforest and the dinosaurs all have signs describing what you're seeing in here as far as the rainforest. The reason this is a rainforest is because it gets six to 10 feet of rain per year. So these plants are monstrous. And you can read about the plant. It's an easy short walk. If you're interested in the dinosaurs, it's so educational. These are life-size replicas of dinosaurs that roamed the earth over 70 million years ago. So whether you're with your friends, family, by yourself, with your furry little animal friends, you are welcome to come to Prehistoric Gardens. So whether it's raining or not raining, Prehistoric Gardens is open year-round, and if there is a bit of rain, it's actually kind of fun to be in here because you're covered from the canopies of the trees. Children love it here. They love the gift shop. It has a variety of small dinosaur items to many other items, so people always like to check out the gift shop. And I am standing in front of a giant dinosaur, Stegosaurus, and it is one of the armored dinosaurs. It was a plant-eating and it lived in the upper Jurassic times. It's 120 million years ago that this dinosaur roamed the earth. He was 26 feet long and weighed eight to 10 tons and had the brain size of a walnut. So I'm glad he's not alive because I would not want to be standing next to him in real life. 